Hi crafty friends, Melissa Miner here and today I'm going to be sharing a layout for the Pear Tree Cut Files design team. I'm using this cut file, it's of a metal and it's from the August release and if you are anything like my family, we are huge into sports and I think this is perfect. But I can see many other uses for this cut file, not only sports, anytime you need a first place metal, I think this would be perfect. So let's jump right in and get into the layout. I'm working today with a sketch and I think sketches make it quite easy to start your layout. This is an eight and a half by 11 double page sketch. It's from the creative design team. I will leave link down below uh, a link to this sketchbook. It is paid, so I am not sharing the measurements with you. I have those covered up, but they are provided along with the sketch. Now these are the photos I'm scrapbooking and my daughter's softball team just placed first in their first tournament of the season. And this is my daughter Tatum holding the trophy. And what was so special about this day is my daughter also hit her first in the park home run. So I'm really excited to be scrapbooking these photos. It was a great weekend of softball. And I like that I can get multiple pictures onto the layout. All right, so let's take a look at the cut file. Now, I did go ahead and back this off camera and I used some gold glitter paper and some holographic paper from scrapbook.com. And then you'll see that black and white star paper. That is actually from Color Rush Studio. And then the yellow papers, those are from my stash. But this was really easy to back and I love the way that this cut file turned out. It's really gonna make a statement on my layout today. So the first thing I did is I went ahead and cut some strips of paper according to the measurements on the sketch. Now the gold and white uh, papers, those are from Pink Fresh Studio from their Spring Vibes collection. And then the black and white papers, those are from Close to My Heart from some various papers that I had in my stash. Now you know Close to My Heart's no longer in business, but I have quite a few papers to still use up. So I'm kind of going rogue here on the sketch. Um, I basically just use the sketch for the background papers, but now I want to go ahead and get my photos onto the layout. So I've placed the cut file on the left side of the page, and then I think I want to go ahead and place these two photos. These are printed three by four on the left, and then I printed out something that was in the paper uh, in this four by six size. And what it says here, I wanted to highlight that Tatum went three for three with an RBI single in the third and a two run inside the park home run in the fifth. So that was super exciting to see in the paper. And you'll see here, I went ahead and stamped some little softballs um, onto the background. Let me hold this up so you can see that just to kind of give the journaling some interest. But I really like the way that turned out as well. And I'll show you the stamp that I used here in just a moment. So I have a couple other photos I wanna use. And this one is just of my daughter right after she hit the home run. And then the other one, um, I took off the internet. Our school posted a picture of the team um, from that. So this is a, an acrylic piece. Now this is from Color Rush Studio and it came in their August acrylic kit and it says pure gold. And our team is black and gold. And it was uh, Tatum hitting her at home run. That was pure gold. The team winning the tournament, everything was pure gold. So I thought that was perfect for this layout. Now I have everything glued down and I'm bringing in some embellishments. I have this stamp from close to my heart from my stash and it's just called baseball. It's really old, but I like this home run um, little stamp on here. And then that's where I got the softball. I'm also using this remember the moment stamp and I'm picking choose to shine here on the bottom. There's lots of good sentiments there. And then I'm also bringing in a few of these die cuts and this is from decorative shapes. So just very minimal embellishments, but super easy. So here's a look at those. And so here's the choose to shine. And I did go ahead and use a marker and then just color in like right around where it says shine. So I'm gonna place that in the upper left. And then let's see, I've got just a couple other things here. I've got, oh, I used my date stamp. Um, so that was fun. So I wanted to document the date and I stamped that right here on this tab. So I'm gonna put the tab over here to the right of the team photo with the date. 
And then this is where I stamped home run and then I fussy cut that out with my scissors. So I'm gonna place that right over the top of her photo. And that looks super cute. And then the last thing I have here is I just have a heart and it has like stitching marks on it. And that pink fresh studio paper has some gold hearts on it. So I thought that that went perfect with the layout. So I think I am finished at this point. And then my daughter tells me that she has some photos that, sh that she didn't give me that some another parent took. So I decided that I want to incorporate those photos. So I went ahead and printed them out and I'm adding them into the layout on one of these six by eight like inserts and it will fit into your album. So I love that, that it fits. So these are two cute photos of her. I don't know if you can see, she's sticking out her tongue, so much personality. And then I did my journaling, some additional journaling and brought in that star paper just to kind of tie it all in together. So I'll add this in between the two pages in my album. So super quick, super fun layout today. Um, if you're interested in any of the products, I will have them linked down below in the description box. Be sure to head over to the Pear Tree Cut Files website to get this metal cut file. It is awesome. All right, I will have still shots on my Instagram and on my Facebook as well here playing at the end of the video. So if you've enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe and come back. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.